In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Ever onward. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment. John 16, verses 7 and 8. It is through the mighty agency of the Holy Spirit that the government of Satan is to be subdued and subjected. It is the Holy Spirit that convinces of sin and expels it from the soul by the consent of the human agent. The mind is then brought under a new law, and that law is the royal law of liberty. Jesus came to break the shackles of sin slavery from the soul, for sin can triumph only when the liberty of the soul is extinguished. Jesus reached to the very depths of human woe and misery, and his love attracts man to himself. Through the agency of the Holy Spirit, he lifts the mind up from his degradation and fastens it up on the eternal reality. Through the merits of Christ, man may be able to exercise the noblest powers of his being and expel sin from his soul. As we walk in the commandments of God, we follow on in the way cast up for the ransom of the Lord to walk in. The faithful of all ages have walked in this path, and they have shone as lights in the world. In this age, the light transmitted from them have been shining with increased brightness upon the path of those who are walking in darkness. Some have received the truth, believed, and obeyed it. The light of the third angel's message have penetrated into many a darkened mind. The light of the wisdom, the goodness, the mercy, and love of God have been shining forth through His holy word. We are not in the place where our fathers were. Advanced light is shining upon us in these last days. We cannot be accepted of God. We cannot honor Him by rendering the same service, doing the same work that our fathers did. In order to be accounted guiltless before God, we must be as faithful in our time in following and obeying our light as they were faithful in following and obeying the light that shone upon them. Of every individual member of His church, our Heavenly Father requires faith and fruits according to the grace and light given. God cannot accept less. Every soul should place himself where the light will shine upon him. He should treasure every ray, that he may brighten and bless the souls of others with the heaven-sent radiance.